Alright, you guys, finally got in a PC fan that I think will work for uh, my computer here. Noctua, same company that makes the thermal paste I just got. Very nice quality box, unlike most of the stuff I get lately. Very, just, just nice. Some specifications for you. Performance enhanced version of the award winning NHL 9. NHL 9 X65. I'll put a link. Low profile fan. It looks like it should work. People seem to be really happy with it. It clears that fourth slot very well. From what I read. Very nice, yeah, very nice boxes. Accessory box. Check out this fan. Yeah, a lot better looking on the size. The other one, it it sat the other direction, but it was so big it hung over that fourth slot. And I think even if I got low profile RAM, it, it would might still have a problem. I was liking this option. Very nice, actually. N none of the fins are bent, unlike the other kit. Had a couple bent, had a couple bent fins. Nothing too serious, but still for a seventy-dollar fan. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. Oh yeah, everything feels such a better kit than that, the cheap stuff. But look at that, that is the exact same tube that I just bought. <laughs> um, I'm going to use two drops out of the one, and then I got this one. I guess they got like a five year shelf life, so I'm sure I could use that later on. Still, that's funny. This is a... Yeah, very nice kit. Screams of quality. Hey, look at that. It even comes with a tool so you can slip down in between the fan blades and tighten those screw heads. I like it. I like it a lot. This is... I'm actually glad the way that worked out. Got some bracket pieces, things to mount it with, some instructions. Congratulations on choosing. Congratulations. These are three different... Oh, oh okay. So we got one for AMD, which is what I'll use. Intel set. Some kind of adapter cable in there too. A very good looking kit. I'm glad I got this. Glad the way that worked out. Let's slap it in there. Been using this extra DC fan here to cool off this PC cabinet. Helped quite a bit actually. I was noticing it was heating up in there and um, yeah, worked out all right. Hardwired it right into where the everything else is getting power from. Just a little help while it's um, hot out. Yep, yeah, that is definitely too small for that processor. 
That's looking much better. All right, once again, got that all cleaned up with some rubbing alcohol and it's ready for some new thermal paste. Do a quick check, of course. Uh, yep. Get, uh, looks like we got plenty of room. Okay, let's get through the hardware and see what we need. I do believe this is an AMD socket. Let's take a quick look at this. We need that. All right, so it looks like we reused the bracket on this one. And it gives us these little posts on the other side for the fan to screw onto. Okay, so those little brackets just go like that on the bottom and on the top. And then it has these posts on the fan that will attach to that. Okay, it looks like I need to use the white spacers. Since I have a AM3 socket, you can read right there. AM3, so AM3. And then we want to make sure the brackets are facing the right way. It shows it like that. Actually, go like that with white spacers. Okay, new brackets are installed. Looks like we're ready to go. Let's do another test fit here. Yep, we're good. And it just so happened to have a screw spin on me. Now it's stuck on there. this little screwdriver it comes with. Handy. I mean, I could probably get a regular screwdriver in there just fine, but yeah, it's nice. Some thermal paste. Little Debbie. Paste is applied. Let's give this just a, just a quick check. Just a couple pieces of lint. Looks good. Get that plugged in.
All right, in there, all tightened down, looking good, fitting good. It's plugged in. Awesome. We also got a USB 3.0 up here uh, that doesn't get used too often because it's of its location. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that. And plug in a uh, rear mounted one, which has the plate on it. So it can go back there. And it's two 3.0s instead of just one. All right, there we go. Double 3.0 USB on the back. Brown and red and blue. Some strange colors going on in there, but eh. Looks good to me. Alright, it's spinning. And I can already tell there's a little whining ratty fan kind of noise that's not there anymore. This fan is supposed to be ultra quiet with all its little perforations and dimples and divots in its fan shroud and on the fan blades to help make it quiet and uh, yeah I could notice a, just a little bit of something I'll I'll notice for sure when this thing cranks up to full um, because this you know the last one was horribly noisy not just because of the pulse width modulation making it spin at medium speed but because it just just made a whirling noise all right mission accomplished let's Get some editing done and see how it uh, see how it does. I'm sure it'll do better than the last heat sink. It wasn't even the right size. That thing is heavy. I like it. That is a nice little emblem. Let's stick that on real quick. Watch out for that staple. Scratch up my cone. Emblem. That's heavy. That's a nice little badge. Noctua. Looks like an owl. Kind of. Focus on the GoPro. Thick. Got some 3M adhesive. I love that little badge. <laughs> it's thick and heavy duty. Very nice quality. Much nicer than the whole rest of the case, boy. This is, I'm never buying pre-made eBay PCs ever again. I'll make my own next time. Alright you guys, I've been gaming here for a little bit. Definitely long enough to know that this thing would have been just running away at full speed by now. And it is not. It's still, as far as I can tell, on low speed. 
usually when it starts heading up to medium, you hear this, the pulse width modulation makes a funny noise, or maybe the fan doesn't, this fan won't make that noise. It, it sounded really bad. Um, aside from the actual just fan noise of uh, moving air, but uh, so far it's made a huge difference. It's 80 degrees in here right now, 81 degrees. It was. That is looking pretty dang good. I like it. I'm glad that the, the fan made a difference. Alright, all done you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.